In this episode of What's In My Pocket, I found some pretty awesome gift ideas for under $100, like this, because we all know someone who can't make a damn decision. So let's check it out. Starting with a must have for anyone who's adulting now, or if you're like me for all the signature requests I get walking down the street, not that that happens a lot. A solid pen doesn't get any more solid than this tactile turn slider in a titanium finish. This majestic custom machinery is all done in the USA by a one man operation, Will Hodges. With a spiral metallic finish, it gives grip to your hand without sacrificing in style points. The moneymaker is this bolt action trigger though that you can spin around compared to a traditional click pen. And on the slider version I have here, it houses a 0.38 Pilot G2 pen, but it can be refilled with several different models of your flavor. The pen writes smooth, feels comfortable in my medium sized hands, but unfortunately won't make you a better artist. A set of Field Notes memo books are my favorite notebooks to carry on the go. They're thin, have enough pages to last you a while without bulking up, and fairly durable with a stiff cover. I personally prefer the grid as it allows me to draw but also line up to write as well. The best of both worlds. It's a great pairing with the slider pen, two tough as stones products even the clumsiest of persons can't break, but also just a fun fidget toy for those who can't sit still like myself. For those who want something on the smaller side and blacked out, the Fisher Space Bullet Pen is the answer to all your life's problems. Well, most of them at least. Uncapped, it doubles the length of the pen, giving it a full-size pen feel. These babies have a pressurized cartridge, which allow you to basically write in any direction, even upside down. It's smooth, the matte finish feels good between my fingers, and it's just a tiny little pen you'll always have on you because why not? It's as big as a finger for goodness sake. I think everyone should own at least one of these. So for those writers and analog lovers, artists, thinkers, or just anyone that needs a break from their phone, a field notes, tactile turn slider, or a Fisher Space bullet pen. Next, a mini knife that will catfish you when thinking it's bigger than it is. The CRKT Squid Pocket Knife in this wicked black stone wash packs a 2.25 inch blade. It's almost an inch wide, sharper than a fifth grader, and designed by the infamous Lucas Burnley. It's ergonomically designed. The thin but sturdy frame offers great grip even at such a small size. This blade may look small, but can cut when you need it to. It has a frame lock that just works, a very strong pocket clip, and several notches on the body for your fingers to hang off of. In the end, design-wise, it's a really clean looking knife anyone can carry with them without looking super threatening, while still being able to do this. Now buying a box for anger management though is optional. The second tool to cover the rest of your needs is this round scout leather hex bit driver in titanium, which means this gift will probably last you a lifetime. It's a combination of a bit driver on a fidget spinner, making it super easy to rotate the driver during usage. It's small, fitting in the palm of your hand, and just a durable piece of machinery you can count on for that fixer upper in your life. The tip fits quarter inch hex bits, and the bits are sold separately, but a pack comes with quite a variety to choose from. And once you do choose, the tip holds it in magnetically. It sticks in and stays in until you want to pull it out. Not great advice for the bedroom though. If you love tinkering with your gear, having this guy on hand makes it so much easier. Especially with the magnetic tip, it keeps the screws from flying all over the place, and the grip texture helps with adding some torque into your rotation as well. Two basic but essential tools to have on you that'll fix 90% of most handyman jobs. But this wouldn't be a what's in my pocket episode without actual pockets. That's where the Urban EDC Supply, the shop where I discover so many cool pieces of gear that even if you don't buy anything, if you want to learn more about what's out there in the EDC world, just check out their catalog linked below. This is the all-in-one Urban Organizer designed with this beautiful full grain Horween leather, which if you don't know, is the premium stuff. The stitching is on point, clean cuts, and the brass rivets add that authentic leather finish. There's a slot for a pen, light, knife, or tool. With a larger pocket for your field notes, phone, passport, or whatever other flat things you want to keep flat. This whole package just gets prettier over time. And all the gear I've mentioned up to now fits in this organizer tightly and then some. Just look at this, four layers of clean cut and crafted horween. But even just holding this in your hand makes you feel super badass and prepared for anything. Just let it scratch up and the tools will grow into their pockets as well. Except you gotta keep an eye out for this one. With the textured grip, it may damage the pockets. So what I do is stick a tiny plastic ziplock inside so it's not constantly scraping against the leather in and out. Just a quick tip for the day. Otherwise, for those who suck at staying organized or just want to carry less, this forces you to focus on just the essentials. And this isn't a bag episode, but throw this into your bag for an easy carry option. Now if the scout bit driver and CRKT knife are a little too much for you or your gift receiver, I get it, they're not ready for the big boys yet. So here's an alternative you can't go wrong with, unless they're bald. Because this is a comb disguised as a switchblade, for those friends that think they're badass but really just have nice hair. Made of plastic all around, it definitely feels like a toy, but for a few bucks you can't expect anything more than that. It's got a trigger lock and a push button release. 
case that makes you look 3.5 times cooler when you actually use it. The one I have is a plastic comb with a light stainless steel shell around it, but I've linked below that offer many different styles to choose from. It's a little gimmicky, definitely an insult if you gift this to a barber, but it works for those hairy friends of yours. It's a fun gift that will definitely get some smiles and you'd be surprised how handy this is. Fair warning though, just don't pretend it's anything more than a comb, otherwise you may wish it was actually a switchblade. Next, the 2018 Carry Award winning EDC item, the James Brand Elko Knife, because it's just so tiny but packs so much value. Inside this cute matte black rectangular package is a 1.74 inch blade, which may sound small and it is, but a great knife to throw onto a keychain and no one will even know it's there. Made of stainless steel with a drop point style blade, this little guy can get the job done when in a pinch. Even more, the lanyard hole doubles as a pry tool, paint cans, I'm looking at you, or a screwdriver and even a bottle opener, I told you, it packed a lot. Just like the CRKT squid knife, it can definitely do some damage, but this little guy is for those who may be just entering the world of EDC. It's got a little bit of everything that you can keep on your keychain even when you upgrade to a larger model. Poor box. With the organizer, these two softer tools fit neatly in the two slots as well, and I throw on a little chain to help me retrieve this tiny thing. Still a great set for anyone that has hair and doesn't need anything more than the essentials. And that Horween leather? Ugh. So good. Next, I've featured these in almost every episode because I honestly believe they are the best bang for your buck. The Distill Union Maglock sunglasses look amazing in this matte black finish, can stretch to fit any large sized head like mine, and can stretch even more just in case you've got some irregular shaped head too. This guy can take a beating and it'll flop right back into shape. They're glasses you don't have to constantly be worried about breaking or scratching up with their impact and scratch resistant lenses. And you'll definitely look 76% cooler with these on. But to top it all off though, the temples of the glasses are magnetic, hence the Maglock name. For anyone that's lost a pair of sunglasses when clipped onto their shirt, will know the struggle. And if you eat like a slob but want to keep these near you, it even slides onto your arm. Muscles are optional. The included carrying case is a stiff cloth wrap case that folds up to do this. A hard shell case that you can actually slide into your pocket now. And finally, just to make sure you understand how badass these are, it's hammer time. Yeah, it can take more of a beating than you can. Next, a fidget item that anyone can get behind. For those times when you have to decide between yes and no, let the cool material decision coin make that choice for you, loud and proud. Made of solid brass and in the USA, this is for those undecisive dads and friends like, should I go to class today or should I do leg day today? Although the answer is always no for that one. It's got some heft to it, about one and a half inches in diameter, basically the size of a pop socket or triple the size of a quarter. It's something to have in that coin pocket on your jeans you never use for when life hits you with those hard questions like do I get guacamole on my chipotle or not? Now this whole set is for the clumsy ones. Starting with the Orbit Key 2.0, I've got the all black leather version because black on black on black. This allows you to store your keys on a single peg and easily swing them out when needed. That includes the second piece here from Goodworth, the middle finger or best wishes key. Definitely not a gift for everybody, but if your dad or friend is a true badass, this guy will help show your love or hatred very subtly. Sut subtly. Sut the Orbit Key also has a built-in keychain loop and I've got the hand grade Knox titanium keyring attached because grade 5 titanium is just awesome. This 10 sided key ring is durable and just a conversation starter to be honest because who doesn't like talking about key rings? But if you have this accomplice trench lighter attached you'll definitely catch a few eyes. Like most things in life you'll pull down to reveal the tip and then fire this bad boy up. This vintage design is made of brass and steel and a replica of a world war one trench lighter. Lastly a tile especially their new sport design that's much more durable and waterproof now. For those who don't know, it's a tracker you click in the middle to trigger your phone to make a noise, even on silent mode. Or vice versa, and trigger the tile to ring so you don't have to waste 15 minutes every morning trying to remember where you threw your keys last night. Buy the whole set for that forgetful someone, or yourself. But if there's one item everyone should have, it's one of these keys. And that's my gift selection for Father's Day, new graduates, or just to treat yourself. Because everyone's gotta make a decision at one point or another. Links and any discount codes can be found below and if you don't know what to get, the decision coin is just something fun, a keepsake, and just something surprisingly useful. Like and subscribe if you want to see more and leave a comment below of what gift you're getting for your father or graduating friend, son, daughter. I rest my coin? Hey guys, so I'm editing and I realized I'm so close to being 10 minutes into the video. So because the video is about Father's Day gifts and graduation gifts, I just want to give a little tidbit because I was a recent graduate 
recent being like four or five years ago. Anyways, my biggest regret way back in the day is not starting YouTube or any other project or idea I had earlier. So take what I say with a grain of salt because although I am about to hit 100K, that is considered successful to some eyes, I've got a long way to go and I could have been there a lot quicker if I had started earlier. You're gonna suck at the beginning and that's okay. Test, figure out what you like, figure out what you enjoy doing, which is the most important part because doing this every day, although it may seem fun, you really gotta like what you're doing because I sat at this computer for the last 12 hours editing this video. You really have to enjoy doing that if you're gonna do it as a full-time job. So anything you wanna do, make sure you love doing it before you go all in on it. That's it.